Good afternoon. My name is Dietrich Borchardt and I will give an introduction on integrated water resources management. Um, I'd like to start with my background and an introduction uh, of my uh, academic migration route. Um, I hold a master in biology starting at the University of Hamburg in hydrobiology and fishery sciences. Then um, I received my PhD from the Faculty of uh, Bio and Geosciences of the University of Karlsruhe, habilitated uh, at the Faculty of Civil Engineering at the University of Kassel. And now um, actually I'm holding a, a professorship at the Faculty of Forest, Hydro and Geosciences at the Technical University of Dresden. This is a joint position um, uh, with the Helmholtz Center for Environmental Research, where I am head of the Department of Aquatic Ecosystem Analysis, and uh, I'm a, the topic speaker of the research program on sustainable water resources management. So this, with, with this um, academic background, I um, will now give an introduction on uh, water, integrated water resources management. I will and I have divided the content into eight chapters, starting with the question on uh, why we need uh, a better water management, what uh, IWIM, the Integrated Water Resources Management, is, explaining some uh, details on the history, then um, explaining water management principles, sectoral perspectives, um, then implementing of IWO as a process, the water management at river basin scales, and finally, I will end uh, with the role of capacity development in integrated water resources management. Some facts about the way we use our water is a starting point to talk about integrated water resources management. Um, it is very clear water is an essential resource. Everybody needs two, three or four liters of drinking water each day. And if we don't have water for three or four days, we will not survive. So this is the core point. Um, and, um, uh, but we have to face the situation that the majority, almost two thirds of the world's population actually have no access to improved uh, sanitation, including um, drinking water supply. So. Um, it is a critical issue and obviously um, the water use and management has to be improved. A second point is that waterborne diseases still are a major cause for um, children's death. Almost uh, 1.4 million children die every year um, because of waterborne diseases. And um, it's a social issue. Um, one aspect of this is that women worldwide spend thousands of hours of uh, uh, their life each year collecting and carrying water uh, sus to sustain and uh, supply their families um, and uh, therefore they spend uh, major parts of their lifetime um, in collecting and uh, carrying water because uh, there's no other way. Hello, my name is Franz Lennartz. I'm the head of the chair of hydrology from the Institute of Hydrology and Meteorology from the University of Technology Dresden. And I'm going to give a short introduction during the next 90 minutes into the subject of hydrology. Hello, everybody. In the lecture series on integrated urban water resources management, I'm going to talk about urban water management today. My name is Peter Krebs. I'm the head of the Institute for Urban Water Management at Technische Universität Dresden since about 13 years. I'm also the um, spokesman of the Department of Hydro Science at Dresden University of Technology, where we are in a resources management faculty together with forestry management and geosciences. Hello, everybody. This is a lecture on water governance. Before we start, I would like to introduce myself. 
My name is Walter Huppert and my specialization is water management with particular emphasis on water management in agriculture. Altogether, I have worked for about 33 years in the field of agricultural water management and rural development related to projects and programs in Africa, Latin America and Asia. During that time, I was engaged with a German consulting firm, with FAO, the Food and Agriculture Organization of the United Nations, with GTZ, the German Bilateral Agency for Technical Cooperation, and with the World Bank. From 1998 to 2004, I was a member of the Board of Governors of the International Water Management Institute in Colombo. My name is Paul Lehmann. I'm a postdoctoral researcher at the Department of Economics at the Helmholtz Center for Environmental Research in Leipzig, the U of Z. I am an economist by education and my research is primarily on the economic evaluation of policy instruments, instruments such as prices, such as emissions trading schemes, such as command and control measures or information measures. I have been working on very different fields of application. I've been working on instruments to regulate the water sector, of course, but I've also been working on instruments to combat climate change, to preserve biodiversity and many more. I welcome you to the lecture about modeling and instruments for decision support in the context of integrated water resources management, which will be given by my colleague Stefan Lier and myself. My name is Julia Röhrig. I'm a geographer. I'm working in the Institute for Social Ecological Research in Frankfurt, in Germany, as a research assistant dealing with geographical information system, DSS, and integrated, integrated water resource management. Also from my side, a warm welcome to you all um, to this lecture. My name is Stefan Lier, and I'm also working as Julia Roig, my colleague at the Institutes of Social Ecological Research in Frankfurt, mm -hmm. Germany. And um, my research activities are concerned mainly on uh, water resources management issues and um, with the application of models and social ecological concepts on problems of sustainability. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Philip Maguera, and I want to present to you today some implement, uh, implementation uh, experiences uh, in IWM uh, from our work uh, in development cooperation. The German Technical Corporation uh, is an implementing agency of the German government, and therefore my examples, project examples, also are examples from German uh, Technical Corporation.